Hey guys, we're time six here watching My Hero Academia season four, episode six called An Unpleasant Talk. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We upload every week for My Hero Academia. You can also get early access and full reactions over on our Patreon page up to six episodes ahead. Link is down below. Check it out if you can help support the channel. And let's get started right away. Wait, we're going the same way? I thought you were working in concept. Oh, because they're yeah, gathering the team, right? Mm. Going to the same station. This is kind of weird. This is Sussy Baka. The heroes are here? Oh, and Mr. Aizawa? The Dragoon Hero Ryukyu. The Dragoon. The BMI Hero Fat Gum. The BMI. The BMI. <laughs> we've invited you all here for a joint conference to share the intel we've acquired regarding the Yakuza group Shie Hasaikai <gasps> and what we believe oh. they might be planning. In my capacity as a Night Eye Agency sidekick, I began following news yeah. to see what I could uncover. The members of Shie Hasaikai have increased contact with those outside of their organization. It stands for Hero Network. It's an online service that can only be accessed by pros. You can see what oh, all the heroes yeah, in the hero country network. are up to. Tinder for pros. You can ask for help from people whose quirks <laughs> might come in handy. If we have to keep stopping to explain this stuff, we'll never get to the actual plan. Don't say that. These two have important information to pass along. Uh, we mm -hmm. do? I'm Fat Gum. He's so cute and squishy. <laughs> cute? <laughs> what? Candy. Yeah, cute. What do you mean? Tomoki, you're okay, right? Yeah, this stuff wore off while I slept. Here, look. I've got this cow hoof and everything. <laughs> I guess we know what you had for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what we call a quirk is an extraordinary addition to an ordinary human body. Those additions are collectively referred to as quirk genes. I can shield those genes and temporarily block their expression, but I don't actually damage them. But after Tamaki here was shot, oh. we brought him to the hospital and they found that his quirk genes had sustained damage. Oh. They seem to have healed on their own and he's back to normal. Oh, okay. What if it keeps happening? Yeah. Right? Hiroshima bravely defended Tamaki from a bullet, which then bounced off his own body and should now provide us with a viable sample. Yeah. It contained human blood and cells. Oh. Human? That effect came from a person. From someone's power. A quirk that can destroy quirks. He can disassemble things and then reassemble them. Oh. A quirk that allows him to completely break down matter. Oh. And a bullet that can break down quirks. So he can just... Wait a minute. But when Mirio and Midoriya encountered her, they noticed there were bandages wrapped around her arms and legs. Her blood? Do something so horrific? Unfortunately, yes. It's her blood. We're wondering if this Chisaki bastard is turning his daughter's body into bullets and selling them on the black market. Damn. Oh. Oh, don't tell me. We'll get Ari away from him next time and, and we'll, we'll protect, protect her. her. Oh, it's a kidnapping mission. And if we go busting into their headquarters and she's not there, they're going to know that we're onto them. We got to be sure of where he's hmm. hiding her. Since we don't currently know how far they've taken their plans, the success of our initial strike is crucial. To that end, we've made a thorough list of groups with connections to Hasaikai, as well as properties own. Attack all their bases? Let's just go bring them down! Uh, We're taking our sweet time, that abused girl's out there crying somewhere! We can't do this like All Might would. That's why we must be meticulous about our strategies and predictions from the outset, so we have the highest chance of saving her. Your quirk foresight allows you to see into oh. the future. So why not use it on us? That's logical, right? My foresight has some limitations. I need a full 24 hours between activations. That means I get one person, and then I'm spent for the rest of the day. That's shit. Yeah. Played in my mind like a flashback. Me? What if I saw imminent death in your near future? Worse. What if it were a cruel, merciless demise? My quirk should be employed only after we've confirmed the highest likelihood of success. Then it can help ensure our victory. It shouldn't be relied upon when there are still too many uncertainties. True. Bro, that's the only excuse you have? Bro. Bro. Oh, Bro. Hell, no, just use it on me now. <laughs> I'll show you I can beat death. I can't. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, fuck it. <laughs> so I was going to recommend that your work studies be suspended. What? Why would you do that? You were listening when he said the League of Villains is involved, right? 
Please, will you try to smile? Hey, hey, I know what'll help He's asking him to be positive. Something and getting Mr. <laughs> Negative. Does it change things? You know it? Just because you didn't hold on to her this time doesn't mean you didn't give Harry hope. Yeah. Keep looking forward. So the kid, what are your honest thoughts about him? I think he and All Might are very similar. Especially when it comes to the madness living deep within. The madness. one I could never understand. I see that in them both. <clears throat> okay. What? You haven't touched any of your toys? And after I bought them special for you. Wouldn't hurt to let your guard down a little, you know. Look happy or I might be the one who gets killed next time, you brat. See, I'm not scared. Um. Slaps her. I'm not scary. <laughs> no worries. If I'm in the way, I'll leave you alone. You're going to be her new caretaker. Make sure she doesn't want to run away. Use the carrot, not the stick. Be someone she trusts and feels comfortable with. I'm a dead man. Like I have <laughs> any idea what kids like. Maybe I'll grab her one of those magical girl dolls. <laughs> oh. My entire life. No one's ever reached out to me like that before. Whoa, I'm sorry. You took a tumble. Are you okay? Can I help you up? Her whole she's enchanted. Shaking, but she's not making a sound. What are you doing to this girl? He felt so kind. So warm. Deku is warm and kind and... That was, I think that part is the most interesting. In the this kid episode. Thing? You know why? Because we didn't think that she's never actually met someone that cares about her like she's so young right she's it was probably been treated like this all her life yeah maybe she's that seven or eight for, yeah. yeah yeah an unpleasant talk let's start with uh night eyes quirk so his quirk um i guess it's good for someone that's planning um an attack it's good for if he goes out of the field once per day. Yeah. Because exactly. he can't use it more than once a day. 24 hours, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 So, like, if he has a, a second shift in, like, eight hours, it's not going to work. Forget I it. guess what he said about he can't use it now makes sense because there's so many locations. They don't really know where they're located. Like, if he uses it on Madoria, Madoria mm -hmm. goes to some random place. Then it's useless. Then he has to wait another twenty-four hours, and they can't. They don't have time on their hands. There's someone. I mean, the, but he could do it simultaneously. Hostage, yeah, huh? he could do it simultaneously. It's like while you're hitting the warehouses or whatever, mm. he could be, you know, yeah, trying at least. Yeah, but he has to touch that person. If that person is all the way south and he's in the north, it's gonna take time for him to go there. I guess. Right. He has to touch. Yeah, you have yeah. to touch first. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, yeah, his quirk kind of sucks now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the talk, the meeting room. So, yeah, so say their their plan is to, uh, what's it called? They want to hit all the places. Divide and conquer. I don't want to conquer. Just one more thing before you. I just realized now when people ask you, do you want to see in your future or past? I don't want to see a future in you because of this. Yeah, fuck that. What? Yeah, yeah I don't want to fuck see my that. future. I want to see my future. I want to see what the future looks like. Yeah, exactly. But I don't want to see my future. This what do you what... mean? Yeah. Why would you want to be see your future? What? That sucks. That... Yeah. It's like takes all the... Whether it's good or bad. Yeah. Like if it's good, like it takes you, all the surprise okay. out of it. You want to see everything. It helps you prepare for it. But he just said you can't avoid yeah. it. Yeah. It's going to happen. Things are gonna happen. I'm saying, so you prepare for it. I didn't say you can change it. I say you prepare for it. But why Why do you need to prepare for it? Because it's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. Whatever it is. So you can start preparing for it. It gives you extra time. You have insight. Oh, I guess I get what you're saying. Like, power. let's say your future, you'll die in 10 years. So if you know that you're going to die in 10 years, you can, like, have fun. I wouldn't want to know that. Exactly. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, because... You could say, oh, I'm having fun, but in the back of your head, it's always in, it's always going to be in your head. It's like, well, yeah. I'm going to die. Like, let's say you have, yeah, but still, even if it's in the back of your head, like, okay, let's say hypothetically, right? You're, you're like, you're just, you're focused, you're, you're ambitious person who's pursuing whatever, let's say a, a job of sorts, 
It's not the best job, but it's a job that pays decent money. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to climb the ladder. You're going to grind at this job for the next 10 and years. Then and then you'll get your money and you can live your life and follow your dreams. And then you just die next week instead. You know, maybe you would rather, you know, know that you're going to die next week and then, you know, not go through with this like 10 year plan and said, you know, speed things up a there's, bit and do fun a, things now. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. I'd rather not know still. Cause that's that's part of life. Yeah, no, teach so. It's yeah. like I don't need to know that shit. I just need to know what the weather is tomorrow, and we can see into the future. Cause you know you're not seven can't days anything. actually <laughs> into the future. That shit's never right though. Yeah. No. How many times close. last week has it said it's gonna rain? And How many didn't? times in the last year has it said it's gonna rain? But well, it did rain last week. No, it rained yesterday. Yesterday was crazy. Yeah, yes. Uh, but yeah, um, what the fuck were you talking about? I don't forgot. The weather? <laughs> um, the okay. plan? The, the unpleasant no, talk. the unpleasant talk. So as I talked, you were talking about the, uh, the drugs and stuff. So as it turns out, one thing we didn't catch last, last episode was that, um, when Kirishima got shot with the, uh, the bullet, it bounced off of him and it was actually recovered mm. by either the police or fat gum or someone in the surrounding area. And now, yeah, that makes with this sample, they can run some tests and find out what it is and maybe create a vaccine for it or... A vaccine. Get, I don't know. Information that would make about, sense. Everything's actually. about vaccines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like the, the, the vaccine, red dart. Vaccine, though, it's basically a poison. You have the red dart and I need the blue dart, you know? You, need you can have a vaccine for a... Bo I think you can get it after you get the poison. But not, like, to prevent well, it. Well, they also said that it damages your... Yeah. Quirk. But it's, they also said they healed, so... So, yeah. He got shot once. No, no, it's... You know why it healed? Because they're still testing. That bullet wasn't... Like, it's still in the, you know, testing phase. Oh, wait, they already tested it. It has human blood and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they tested yeah. So, I guess we could go into that now. We learned Eurasia. where this human blood is coming from. Yeah, it's the quirk. Is the daughter. So, her quirk... Would be to destroy quirks. So her quirk is overhaul junior version. With so overhauls one. is to disassemble matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And reassemble it. Kind of like, kind of like Momo's, but he can also disassemble, which is what we saw when he fought a uh, magnetism dude. We like rubbed him and then he just ceased to exist basically. Mm -hmm. Um, so Aerie has like a, you know, diminished version of that where she basically, I don't know, you can inject, I mean, we don't know exactly the what the extent of her. Yeah, we don't know like the exact Is it really a diminished her, version? Because it seems like yeah, it's different. if she was trained, she would, she could fuck his up. No, no, yeah, no, no. Uh, the only reason why I'm saying that is because like we know that that like, uh, no. per, uh, not perks, sorry, quirks are passed down like in hereditary fashion, you know? Well, not really since Midoriya didn't get anything from his mom. No, 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 but I mean, like, if... Oh, wait, does his mom even have a quirk? Yeah. The heating things, right? The floating thing. Mm. The heating well, it kind of does. Like because, Toroki, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, fine, yeah. Yeah. I guess it's... And that's what the police it, investigation guess, was, yeah. right? That's literally what they were saying. Okay, fine, yeah. Um, But no, like, because you used the word diminish, I think hers is better than his because maybe he can disassemble and assemble, but he can't take away people's quirk on his own. That's true. So hers would be better. Well, yeah. we haven't really if seen she's trained. Fight. No, but if she's trained. Obviously, right now, she's not better. Yeah. Let's say she gets trained. She could destroy him. Yeah, I mean, I guess if she disables someone's quirk, and then what? Or maybe yeah. as she gets stronger, her quirk will start she to look She stabs him with his. her horn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why does she have only one? We have to meet the mom. The mom has something interesting, too. Maybe the mom has the, the uh, canceling aspect. Who knows? Maybe this is like literally oh, like maybe. a kid. It's like Toroki's dad. What's his name again? Uh, Endeavor? Endeavor. It's maybe this is like an Endeavor situation where uh, Chisaki was going around looking for like the perfect wife that could, so you can get like the perfect quirk, which was what, uh, what the girl has. Yeah. Maybe. And then, yeah. All right, so we got that. We got the plan. We got, what else? That's it? Yeah, the whole episode was at that meeting. Yeah, it was just a setup, yeah. yeah. Just uh, the... The end scene, which is we saw her, her perspective and her new guardian. 
which yeah. is like henchman 69e literally <laughs> with a scruffy funny. beard <laughs> but uh yeah i'll see you here all right guys thanks for watching our reaction for my hero academia season 4 episode 6 if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like comment down below your thoughts and subscribe remember on patreon you got six episodes ahead and see you next episode peace